Hello and welcome back guys. Today we're going to take a very quick look at tier 3 content and what has changed in comparison to tier 2. First of all, obviously there's new guardians, Una's tasks, abyss dungeons with also new abyss gear and a new chaos dungeon tier as well. There's a couple things that have changed about the chaos dungeon though. First, the chaos dungeon armors cannot be sold anymore. When you come to Punica first, when you come to tier 3 first and you're doing your two chaos dungeons of the day, if you don't get your full 1000 1302 item set you will have to wait another day since you can't buy these from the auction house the infinite chaos dungeon has an almost infinite amount of materials available now and those materials are sellable as well but keep one thing in mind each time you buy one of those materials one as one specific material the price of said material will increase so it's essentially impossible to buy all of the materials later on in tier 3 the chaos dungeon also drops items called tattered items these can be sold again and are mainly used as like a catalyst for the new tripod system on your gear let's talk about that okay so the first thing you want to do is to set up the settings for those tripods obviously first you have to look up which ones you actually want and then you click on the settings button here while you're in your skill window and here you can set up everything you want to see so for example on maelstrom i have selected orb control and dark order once these are selected, these will show up highlighted in your inventory, so you don't have to look through every single item when it drops. Okay, so now that I have some gear pieces here set up, let's, let's just assume I like all of these tripods. How do I apply these to an existing gear piece? So each piece has three slots, as you can see right here, and I have one free slot available down there as well. So simply, I can just click on Fatal Wave here and apply that again. Get that, get that third tripod transferred, as you can see right here. But keep in mind, the item that I just used here is now gone. So don't, don't, just, don't just use very high enhanced items for this, because the gear that you get actually can transfer the tripods from will be destroyed. So let's do one more example real quick. In this case, let's say I want to get upper slash swift fingers instead of the excellent mobility on turning slash. So what I can do is I can just transfer that again. But in this case, I'm transferring a level one to a level two, meaning the success rate is lower. And if you have these powders of sage, you can apply them and that will also increase your chances. Obviously, I won't do that because I don't actually need either of these. But just as an example, this is what you need the powders for. It increases the chance if you want to transfer a specific tripod. So now I'll also show you the inventory tab, which is also very important. So currently my pants are perfect. They have three stats that I actually want, and I will probably not get anything better than this for a while. So what can I do is I can save these pants into this little skill tree inventory. So I click OK, and now it will apply all of these here into this, into this little library of tripods. So for example, if I want to apply this to a different set of pants, which I already did, you can simply just click on apply to selected gear and transfer that over to a different piece of gear that you want to apply those stats on. Now, this is a 100% chance and there's no real downside to this. So you should always keep a very extensive skill tree inventory. There's also different presets for this if you want to save more, for example. Use the transfer window if you want to replace specific tripods on your gear. This may have a lower chance depending on which one you're replacing. And use the inventory to actually save up existing tripods and apply them again to new gear, for example. Another quick note is that only the highest level tripod applies. So for example, on my pants, you can see I have Moonlight Sonic Sustain Enhancement Level 2. And on my shoulders, I have Moonlight Sonic Sustain Enhancement Level 1. Because I already have a higher piece equipped, the shoulders don't even show up is something that I need because, well, the tripod effect, the skill tree effect here is useless because I already have a higher one applied. Also make sure you're doing Anguished Isle, which has a quest chain and a daily quest and a daily dungeon that unlock after that. You get this red island currency, which you can exchange right outside of the dungeon. This can be exchanged for various important things like tier 3 gems or materials to upgrade your gear. Speaking of tier 3 gems, these gems actually make the tier 2 gems obsolete. So now you can actually invest some time and money into these gems because these will last for a long time. And also last but not least, I also want to quickly mention the rapport NPCs in Punica as a lot of them reward you a hefty amount of gold and you know, it's free. 
So if you want some gold, increase the affinity with some of these characters. And outside of that, you can still do skill points. You can still do your Mococo seeds, island hearts, giant hearts. There's so many other things that aren't really related to tier 3 content that are more horizontal or, as I said, give you skill points, which is also a power gain in itself. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say today. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you have a nice rest of your day. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. And on top of that, if you uh, want to watch me live, go over to Twitch. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.